consider subscribing. Sarah from the U.S. Uh, so my question is, from the past couple of days, I've been going through a difficult time in my life where I'm not able to focus and my daily life is being affected. Like yesterday, I was in my room in a dark room. I was not speaking to anybody. In the night, I could not sleep. I was moving. My body was moving because of restlessness and I was roaming around the room. I don't know why. And um, it's, it's, it feels like as if I know this life is eventually going to end, but it feels like it's going to last forever. And when I look at the kuffar, I sometimes feel jealous, but I know that this is only for them in this dunya, but I still can't help it. I don't know what to do. Okay, first of all, there are things in life that need conviction and not only knowledge. So we all know that we are eventually going to die. No one has any doubt at all, even the disbelievers, even the richest men on earth. You go to them and they say, yeah, death is inevitable. Everybody is going to die. Nobody has ever lived forever. Okay, what are you going to do? I said nothing. I'm going to continue to be a tyrant, to abuse those who work for me, to deal in riba. I'm going to continue to oppress people and buy their businesses and make them broke. I'm going to ruin people's lives. I don't care. Don't you believe that you're going to die? I said, yeah. So even go to the Muslims. You believe in life after death? I said, yes. You believe you're going to die? I said, definitely. You believe in heaven and hell? I said, most certainly. I'm a Muslim then why are you not praying on time? Why do you fornicate? Why do you drink? Why do you, alcohol that is, intoxicants? Why do you smoke pot? Why do you abuse your wife? Why do you disobey your husband? Why do you not respect your parents? Why do you steal money? Why do you, so many things. And they acknowledge, say, yeah, yeah, we know it's haram and we know it's bad, but c'est la vie. Don't you believe that you're going to be tormented in your grave? They say, I believe in the torment of the grave, but I'm not one of those. But you're doing the whole nine yards. I said, yeah, but I believe in Allah's mercy. And what about Allah's punishment? No, no, this is for the disbelievers. We are not going to be tormented. So it's not knowledge that people lack. It's conviction that drives them and pushes them to do the right thing. Now, you have the knowledge, but you don't have the conviction. And the reason might be attributed to so many factors. It can be attributed to lack of trust, dependence, and reliance on Allah, known as tawakkul. If you had tawakkul on Allah, dependence on Allah, you know that he would take care of you, so you would not have these anxiety fits and attacks. You wouldn't be restless. Whenever shaitan hits your head, you say, I have Allah Azza wa Jal with me. He's my protector. It can be attributed to your lack of belief, weakness of belief in the divine decree which is one of the six pillars of Iman. If you believe that Allah has written down everything that's going to happen till the day of ju judgment, and that was 50,000 years before creating the whole universe. So it's done. Whatever we're going to do, it's been written. Whatever is going to happen, it's written. If someone dies among our loved ones, it was written. 50,000 years ago, am I saddened? Definitely yes. But would I do something that would be considered to be complaining, objecting, or any sort of not being content? At all. Because I believe that this is something that Allah has predestined. So there are so many factors that may attribute to how you feel, 
how to cu cure this and how to get rid of it by reading the Quran. I read the Quran, Sheikh. You're not reading it with your heart. You're just reciting it with your tongue. I want you to read it with your heart. Allah says in the Quran to his messenger, وَنُنَزِّلُ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ مَا نُثَبِّتُ بِهِ فؤادك. We reveal to you from the Quran what makes your heart steadfast. So if it makes the Prophet's heart steadfast when it's restless, and we know the calamities that the Prophet had faced, then by default, if we believe and we read the Quran, our heart would be content and calm. We will find the tranquility and the peace in the Quran because it is to our hearts like honey to our bodies. The best antibiotic, the best medication to your whole body is honey. Cure is in it, as mentioned in the Quran, to most illnesses and diseases. So whatever is happening to you, Sarah, you have to acknowledge a universal fact. And I always reiterate and say it over and over again. Every single individual on earth is being tested. Some are tested with wealth. Some are tested with health. Others are tested with poverty and with illness. So each one of us has his own calamity. Don't ever be deceived by how things look. Don't go and look at the richest man on, the, on, on earth. Oh, he builds spaceships. Oh, he travels to space. He has so much money. He does this, he does that. Wallahi, he is the most or one of the most miserable people on earth. Don't be deceived by his smile, by his constant dosages of tranquilizers, whether physical or sentimental and mental. They're just living in oblivious because they know they're going to die and they know what awaits them after death. But this world, this wealth is so lucrative and deceptive that they're unable to make a decisive decision to make an end of it and work to whatever is after death. Yeah, they may put in their well, put me in nitrogen uh, liquid or put me in the freezers or maybe somebody would uh, discover in, in 200 years how to give life after death, which is yani, illogical. They may do this, but they are the most miserable people on earth. Everyone is being tested. The prophets and messengers were tested, peace be upon them. The righteous and the companions were, were, were tested. So you're not alone. You're being tested. Now what the results, what, are, what the results of your test may be, this what will, with the grace of Allah, define you. And this what would most likely lead you to paradise if you're among the righteous and the patient or elsewhere, may Allah protect us all if you're not and Allah knows best.